Hey guys, how you doing? Hi Cleo. I thought I would bring you out here this afternoon, this evening actually, come out here and sit down talk to you guys for a little while. You know, I know that um, Kelly and I did this two o'clock in the morning thing. We were watching um, a ghost show, the one that we always watch. I named it last night and of course I'm so exhausted today, I cannot remember it. Paranormal investigators, that's who it was, and they were in the UK. Um, my God, they have some crazy, crazy ghosts. And you gotta believe it's real, cause you know, it's on YouTube. <laughs> By that logic, that means I'm not real either, so don't listen to that joke, okay? Look at all these kitty cats. Um, anyway, but what it did is it got me to thinking it got me to thinking about, do I believe in ghosts? You know, because if my answer is yes, that means that I believe that I'm going to be one when I die. And if the answer is no, then that brings up 10 million other questions about, well, what do I exactly do I think happens when we die? Yes, I'm vaping. So what does happen when we die? You know what? I wish I had an answer to that question. <laughs> I don't think there's any scientific, actual, truthful scientific evidence that proves that there's life after death. Unless you want to believe the paranormal stuff. But here's the thing. I've taken care of transplant patients before. And there's this one patient in particular... Um, he was a heart transplant patient. He was a young guy. He was like 21 years old, uh, 22 by the time he got the transplant patient. And my job um, was a home infusion nurse. So um, we took care of his heart before with some IV stuff that he could do at home. And um, then after, post-transplant, we took care of some stuff for him. And one of the things he said will stick with me forever. Um, I asked him if he, you know... Obviously, he felt better when he got his new heart, but I asked him if anything was just like weird or different, you know, like you hear. And he goes, you know what? There is. He said he hated horses before his transplant. Um, scared to death of them. Didn't like them. Never watched them. Didn't want to be around them. Nothing. And he got this transplant and all of a sudden he started having dreams about riding horses and he wanted one and he wanted a I mean he just said you know horses everywhere well come to find out the lady's heart that he got was a barrel rider <laughs> isn't that nuts so that has to tell me that your heart is a muscle it's got pathophysiology and anatomy, and it's got to have something we just don't understand. It's got to have everything is made up of energy. And so when you die, where does all of the energy go? Do we have a spirit that floats out of our body? Do you believe in heaven or hell? Do we go to heaven? Do we go to hell? Do we stay in purgatory? Um, stay in purgatory kind of sounds like I'm already there. I mean, what happens? And it's really been weighing on my mind because one of the things my oldest daughter Kelly said was, please don't haunt me. <laughs> I'm not going to haunt you. If anything, I'll just take your keys and put them in the freezer, you know, a couple times until you feel like you're losing your mind. And then I'll quit and go off to someone else. I'm kidding. What I want her to feel and what I told her was that I wanted her to think about me and feel calm and peaceful. And if there is a life after death, you can darn well bet that I'm going to be everywhere that I can possibly be for the people who love me and try to help them my four-year-old daughter, Sammy, you know, regardless of how old she is when I die, if she's still four. By the way, yesterday was her birthday. 
She turned four. Um, my husband, my kids. If there is some type of life after death, obviously it's gotta be hard to make contact with people if that stuff is really true. Otherwise, we'd have dead people walking everywhere and nobody would ever question it. So there's gotta be something, always something we don't know. So what do you guys believe in? Do you believe in life after death? Oh, look, you can see behind me. Do you believe that a spirit floats out of our body? Or do you believe that when we die, we just die? And our energy dissipates back into the ground where it came from and we're done. If you believe that though, you kind of have to wonder what's the point? This is a really deep conversation and I could probably go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth to ever. The bottom line is, is that I don't know for myself. I don't know what I believe. And I don't know if I want to pick something. But it'd be great to play a few jokes on some people. <laughs> anyway, I will talk to you guys later. Radiology went good today. I'm just exhausted, tired today and not feeling that great. Um, I'm going to turn the camera around and kind of pano it. This is my backyard at the very end of my backyard. Um, absolutely beautiful. Hi, kitty kitty. Hey, Molly cat. All right, guys. Talk to you soon. Hey guys, how you doing? Hey, um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and go down and click the little hand with a thumbs up if you like it. And leave me some comments because I love those and I love answering them. And I will talk to you soon. Thanks a lot. Oh, and if you want to support me and you want to support future cancer research, go to www.gofundme.com backslash cindy-the-world-of-cin. See you later.